Hello, today we are going to be taking a look at my recent purchase, which is a iFixit Repair Business Toolkit, which is a large set of different tools that are designed to help you while working and trying to fix Apple products and also other different mobile and tablet devices, but the primary use is on the Apple device and that's why you've got that I. This is something that I really wanted to purchase from a really long time and I finally managed to push myself after fighting with this device and of course, if you would be interesting, I managed to make it working, but I scuff it and it's do not looking very professional and that's because I was lacking a proper tool. And if you would be wondering, this is my actual tool set that I'm using for devices of the smaller electronics. And you can see that we've got that beautiful tool. And I was prying using a medical scalpel. So yeah, this is what it made. And of course, most likely you also have got those, those terrible suction caps that you've got like a, in this set with screen. So. I go with this and I hopefully going to be happy. And just if you would be wondering, I already uh, ran suck through that bag because I wanted to get like a general idea what we've got inside. But let's do the unboxing. As you can see, this whole set is in this beautiful beefy bag and this is like a go-to equipment so you can carry it on site and do a repair like a basic repair so if you are like a IT technicians that most likely this is going to be also a good one here we've got a carry on handle but if you would be interested we've got also a strap that you can attach this bag is divided into two main compartments here is the beefy one and here is second smaller that can nicely open and let me present you that so it can go like this and it's nicely revealing our contents so let's take a look what we have got inside and our first element is set of those screwdrivers so let me take it out here we've got our screwdriver set that is pulled out of our bag and on its own, it created a separated set. And if you take a look, we can nicely pack it. And we've got a individual kit. And as you can see, we've got that beautiful logo. And you can take just that element. And yeah, it's presenting really nice. The Velcro is catching on the, on the desk. And here is what we've got. We've got a lot of different screwdrivers made in Taiwan. They are nicely marked here. So here we've got a flat head. So maybe I will just go like this, but most likely it's going to be much easier for you to just check the PDF and how they are feeling. They are feeling really nice. In my personal opinion, that shaft have got pretty decent length and the diameter is also okay because sometimes you've got like a hole and you need to push it down. With my existing set that I extremely like, even the longest bit I often have got trouble using because of the reach. And here you can see that we've got a much longer. So yeah, this is not a replacement because for some use cases this is a steel winner and here you've got the other side and yeah this is extremely tiny one yeah that's crazy that they even manufacture i'm not sure that looks like for the apple watch it is crazy small if we compare to things that i'm usually working on i'm not a mobile phone guy but yeah this is a nice and we can nicely pack it so to be honest 
that's looking pretty cool. And in like a normal mode of operation, you just grab that bag and you can select the one that you are needing. Absolutely beautiful and declutter my desk. So this is what I wanted. And here we've got with another item that I didn't open and we've got the microfiber cleaning cloth. Here we've got the model number. And of course we are going to be taking a look. So what we've got, we've got two pieces. So this is for like, we've got the iFixit branding. That's going to be like for cleaning a screen. Here we've got also the iFixit logo. So it's presenting like this. It is a pretty beefy one. And here we've got a bottle that is being called Screen Saver, Screen and Lens Cleaner, branded iFixit. And here we've got the description. I cannot see the contents. We've got the atomizer. It do not smell the isopropyl alcohol, so I've got no idea. And here, as you can see, we've got a lot of finger. So let's see how it's going to be working. Is it going to be a decent one? Of course, these scratches won't be removed. But it's presenting really nice. I'm really ashamed that I butcher it like this. But yeah, we make it working. So to some extent, I am happy, as you can see. And I will plan to use it as a countdown for my videos. So it was a good buy. Okay, so those two items are done. And I'm going to be using them. So I will not pack them. Here we've got another item and this is going to be portable anti-static mat. This is something that I was using before on my desk, but I've got problem with the glare. So I basically skip it. Here we've got the technical specification. And of course we are going to be opening it and we are going to be taking a look. So if you need to create a portable ESD safe environment then you just take it out and yeah the size is pretty good just take a look yeah this is a decent size and on that like a felt desk definitely it's going to be helping I in general I do not play with the ESD safe equipment is the sensitive to be more precise. Here we've got a grounding clip. And here we've got most likely connector for the ground strap. So we can join them. Yeah, this is extremely nice. I really enjoy it. And here we've got the connector. So we go like this. On some power supplies, you will find a grounding pin that in many cases is disconnected and sometimes you need to connect a like a metal jumper if you would like to have a ground reference power supply, but in many cases you would like to have floating one. So you just unplug it from that and it go into the power supply. So I would say this is absolutely beautiful. If that would be not included in that set, most likely I will never purchase it. So I'm extremely happy they include that. And they basically force me and the anti-static wheel strap. From technical point of view, we could check it. And just like in any electronic lab, of course, we've got a electrostatic wheel strap tester. So we are going to be plugging ourselves here to the ground. We are going to be clipping it into not hairy spot, just like that. We would like to get on this device a pass mark. There could be two error codes. First is going to be too high and too low. Too high will mean that our resistance is too high and basically it's not going to be effective. The second error code is too low 
and that's create electric shock hazard for you as an operator because your body is going to be grounded and if you are going to be touching your other hand to something that is live then you are going to be closing the circuit and the current is going to be flowing through the wheel strap and you don't want that you would like to only uh, extremely high voltage to pass so let's check it and as you can see we've got a beautiful pass and here you can see the error code when we are not grounded so it's working perfectly fine the anti-static set is absolutely beautiful winner and that's because everything go into that pocket and do not clutter my desk and if I ever need to use it then I know that we've got it absolutely beautiful then we've got a multimeter with a user manual so let's take a look at it it's a little bit giving a vibe of a unit but actually it is not a unit T so let's take a look at this device what I can see we've got the true RMS which is absolutely beautiful if you are working with inverters this is exactly what you would like to see and it's got the auto ranging you need to put batteries so let's do it right now is it a protection yes this is like a cover sleeve and nice touch they make it blue here we've got a two batteries but i do not trust them so they go straight to the recycling what you really want is of course a Varta Industrial made in Germany. This is what you would like to put to make sure that they won't leak and damage your instrument. And we need to undo that screw. So question is, are we going to be using our new screwdriver? And to be honest, that one looks like a good fit. So we are going to be iFixing the iFixit kit. And let's insert our two beautiful German batteries. Yeah, this is what you would like to see. Where is fuse? I cannot see the fuse, which is not right. Let me put it back because at least at the low range, I see indication there is a fuse. So maybe it is a polyfuse. Where is fuse? That's crazy. That the fuse is not accessible, but maybe it is a polyfuse. We are going to be checking that. I'm pretty sure that it is some sort of a generic Chinese meter. So you are welcome to pause. We've got a basic tutorial, but basically each meter is the same. The automatic power off is absolutely beautiful feature, but sometimes while doing video it is horrible and I can see that you can disable it, so absolutely no problem whatsoever. I cannot see information about the fuels, so maybe it is a polyfuse. So it will reset on its own. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look at the probes. They are pretty sharp, which is good. And let's try to do some measurement. Let's remove this. So we've got the auto ranging. Let's power it on. We've got a nice screen. We've got true RMS. We have to go to the volts DC. Oh, I can see it is a very nicely layout at automatic power on. Absolutely beautiful. Let's try to measure something. Let's check our max feature. So we go like this and this should capture our measurement and I should be able to let my probes go and we've got that capture. So this is absolutely beautiful. And let's compare it across this meter. This is absolutely not a professional 
lab equipment, but I really trust it. And this is a good meter. So let's give it a basic use. And this is why I told you that I like the layout because here we've got a volts that are DC and AC and you have to remember to switch it. So let's check it. Let's go to the max. And let's see what kind of measure are we going to get. And I would 100% say that this is close enough. And they both make a great job. Just take a look. I trust this guy. So we've got basically all the features that are required for basic testing. Let's check the continuity in the buzzer because this is quite important for your work. No one is buying this to get like a beautiful meter. Let me check, are we on the buzzer mode? We need to select the function. We've got the diode and we've got the buzzer. Not the fastest, but not terrible. Not great, not terrible. I would say it is okay. So we've got a beautiful meter and it's going to be definitely getting the job done. Here we are going to be finding our eye opener, which is quite interesting device that you, I deeply believe, microwave. We have to take a look how to do it. Yes, you can microwave it and it's going to be heating up and then you put it around like a screen. If you've got glue, this is a bad example because you've got eclipse, but if there will be a glue, you put it like this and the heat is going to be nicely melting the glue and making it, it easier to open. And this is not like a hot air when you are need to move it around and you can be afraid that you are going to be overheating it. So you leave it like this, give it a moment and you are happy. And inside we've got some sort of liquid that is like a jello. Yeah, quite interesting stuff. So this concluded our first section and let's take a look to the most important part. This is like a key player why you are purchasing it. And we've got the ProTech toolkit and we've got a lot of different tools in a one package. And just as I told you, I already ran SAC through it. So I know what we've got. So we open it and reveal our beautiful content and what we've got over here, over there. We've got lots of beautiful stuff. Let me align it properly. Let's take a look what we've got inside. Here we've got a weird strap that is exactly the same as before. So we've got that element double. And I believe we are going to get some repetition with the other items, but they are stuff that is wearing out. So here we've got a suction cap and let me compare it. So you can clearly see that we've got a massive difference and it's nicely branded the iFixit, but this is not the killer. There is a better tool. We've got those prying bars that are absolutely beautiful. This is garbage I was trying and you can feel the difference. This is like a solid plastic. So I'm 100% sure they are going to be fine. And you've got a, a multiple one. So just in case one break during the job, you are not going to be screw. Here we've got like a guitar pick style pry opening tool. And yes, you've got also multiple ones. So if you lose it or if it's break, you are cover. We've got a tweezers and this one looks extremely nice. And it is a self-locking. So if we grab something, yeah, this is a good one. It give me a little bit of vibe of surgical instrument because it is not like a shiny. 
So this is how it's presenting. The quite interesting part are those scroll. Maybe they are selling replacement tips that you can purchase and replace. If that would be case, that would be absolutely amazing. But I've got no idea, so do not count on it. Here we've got the ESD save, so it's going to be basically conducting electricity. It is a metal one, and yeah, it is a painfully sharp like a needle. So yeah, those are good tools. Let's take a look. This is a beefy one. ESD save, like a piece of metal. Is it nice? Yes, it is. Yeah, you've got the different ones. We've got the pry tool. I've got this like from a Chinese AliExpress, similar one, but it was terrible and it broke. That one, the time will tell. I assume it's going to be better one. Here we've got another tool with a hook. So this is something that I was using. I was using the scalpel because I wanted that shape and it was working pretty good but it was damaging so the idea is that I would like more this tool to break not the enclosure like around the screen so yeah the hook I'm not sure what is the intended use case for it then we've got that instrument most likely it is also for separating our screen. I'm not 100% sure. And this is a winner and I had this one and it was pretty painful to work because it was not insulated here so if you squeeze it then it was like basically cutting your fingers and the metal was not very good but it was a great value for money. Here we've got a absolutely beautiful grip. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be a nice one. But now we go into the true beauty. And let's take a look at our beauty. What we've got here, we are doing the reveal. And we've got our screwdriver and lots of different bits. It is called to touch, so it's totally made out of metal. And let's try some bits. This is a crazy one, just take a look. Yeah, the magnetic snap. Absolutely beautiful, this is exactly what you would like to see. And yeah, we've got a lot of different things. And what is beautiful, they are pretty good held. And looks like it's being held by a magnet. So here we've got a magnetic pad and you can put your screws and if you knock it just like that, they are not going to be going anywhere. So absolutely beautiful. And there is a metal plate. So it's going to be attached like this. Yeah, this is crazy. I like the design at those different bits. We've got a lot of them. And my friend got an old version from like 10 years ago and the quality of those bits were terrible and they were stripping down. So I hope they are going to be beautiful because they are not like a... I've got feeling that might be CRV because they are not that very shiny. And let's take a look at the thread. Is it the same thread as on my electric screwdriver? Let's give it a go. And looks like, looks like they are exactly the same. And let me check from the electric screwdriver. And yes, they do fit. So in case of emergency, if I'm going to be losing one of them, I could try to find one of those. And let's do something that is absolutely the most critical. As you can see, they are not falling out. And this is exactly what you would like to see. 
you would not believe how many times I drop it and I was picking them up. But here we've got that beautiful set. And this is interesting because there is something unusual in and that looks like a, like a magnet. So I can already see a use case for it. This is absolutely beautiful. Have you ever been in situation that you are basically trying like a like a pickup scroll then you can do something like this and you can reach and you can pinpoint and take it out absolutely beautiful and we can swiftly go and check out this extender that should be working with any of those bits just like that and if you've got a hard reach then you can do something like this quite interesting and here we've got a spot to hold our fingers and as you can see it's rotating so yeah it's looking quite nice and we can hold it here here absolutely beautiful so yeah time will tell the quality but it feel amazing and i will try always put everything back and just take a look how beautiful it is. So we are going to be closing it down. We go like this, like that. And just like I told you, you can purchase it on its own. So let's, let's take a look what else we've got. Here we've got a digital calpier. Let's take a look how it's presenting let's do the unboxing i hope it's going to be better than the chinese one that i already have got because they are quite horrible we've got the information and let's take a look yeah it is quite nice Let's see, of course we will most likely need to put the battery or the battery is dead because they've got a tendency to run flat. Let me find a spare battery or maybe they include it. Yes, they've got a spare battery. Yeah, this is what I do not like about them. But yeah, what would you... Yeah, this is a shit show. Okay. So let's put it and of course it's working fine. And most likely I will lose it like with all instruments. So we are going to be checking it out and here I've got a special tool that is designed for testing devices like this and I purchased it while working with 3D printer. So this is a one millimeter. And let's zero it. Let's undo that scroll. You can see that even tiny movement. Make it go. And I would say this is a spot on. This is absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what you would like to see and how it's working after like a doing a full swing are the measurements repeatable i would say yes they are so yeah it is a good one so here we've got like a beefy suction cups and when i'm saying a beefy one i really mean that just take a look those are really a beast and we've got that system that is creating this action i'm not sure if that should be pile off or not hmm now i'm not sure i think yeah that must be like this and here you are creating the suction so let's try to check it on my tablet we nicely clean it so it should work well and yeah, this is exactly what you would like to see. So just 
compare it to that one, then yeah, this is a really beefy beast. Yeah, this is a different tool. If I had it back then, then of course that's going to be working like a breeze. But you know, those stuff do not make any sense to purchase like a one item, pay for shipping for one job, absolutely not. But here with this whole set, that is making a lot of sense. Let's see what else we've got. And here we've got some tools that I will take out because they are quite hard to see on the black one. So I will go with all of them. So as you can see, this whole set can be removed and it giving you an absolutely beautiful access. So here we've got a lot of different tweezers and they are repetition from something that I seen before. So this is not something that we are going to be thrilled about, but I deeply believe it is absolutely fine because if they break in middle of job, then you've got a spare one. So I'm not going to be telling that this is wrong. You can tell me if they are selling replacement because those two screw are really intriguing me. Here we've got a tool for like a blowing dust. So in my personal opinion, this is a really smart and even if you are like putting isopropyl alcohol and you would like to dry it out, this is not a stupid idea. We've got our beautiful knife. Quite nice. I'm using a bigger one, but tiny one for electronics. It can get a pass. We've got most likely an ESD safe brush. So yeah, this is a good one for like a cleaning PCB. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And we've got that tool. I've got no idea why that hook is and it is pretty sharp. So if you know, then kindly please let me know. Here we've got most likely more prying tools and we've got the plastic cars. And this is something that I I'm purchasing. I'm purchasing the AliExpress version and here I've got it. So this is most likely a good thing. Let me open it. Yeah, this is a totally, <laughs> that's a totally different quality. This is a flimsy one. This is a hard one, but maybe in some application the thinner one is better. So I'm not telling you that those are garbage because for different use cases, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm happy with that. And of course, if I would be buying just that and paying for shipping, that it would be stupid. We've got more of those. So from that, I can clearly see they assume they are going to be wearing out. And to some extent that make that makes sense because when I was using the metal one on my iPad, I damaged the iPad and I would be more happy to damage a plastic tool. Here we've got like a Morale patch with their repair logo. So yeah, this is how it's presenting. So you can put it somewhere, maybe on the backpack. Here we've got that carabiner and I believe it is designed to be clipped here and joining those two together. I believe I seen it on some picture. Here we've got like a pin for the right to repair logo. As you can see, we've got that spanner, we've got the hand. We've got more of those guitar picks for opening. And this is quite interesting because you clearly need to slide it and pry something, but I don't know what is the intended use case. Most likely it is specific tool for a specific need. Maybe in some space where you know there is going to be wire under, so it's got a cutout for wire and you can pry it. Maybe that's the idea. 
So yeah, this is nice. Let's see. Do we've got something here? And yes, we've got absolutely beautiful. Let me take out. So the idea with those inserts is great, but the negative point is that it's sticking to my felt desk and this is not good so here we've got like a captain tape i deeply believe that's going to be a captain tape if it's squawk like a duck then it's a duck and yes it is a captain tape and the size size is a little bit bigger to something that i'm currently using so i would say it is a very good one because it is a middle one between like a really beefy one so yeah that was a good thing here we've got some sort of tessa tape that's going to be double-sided most likely to glue like a maybe the bezel of screen but i've got no idea if you google that app most likely it's got a like a very dedicated use case and this is something that i was telling you about that here we've got a like a professional tool for opening the screens and here we've got the model number just in case you would be interesting actually i shouldn't tear it apart because looks like here we've got some sort of manual from iPhone 5 to iPhone 6 from 7 to 10 and we've got information well where to do it let's take a look let's make a visual inspection what we've got inside that bag most likely this is just for a uh, transport and the suction cups go there that's my assumption so we go like this and i've got no idea how to use it most likely i will have to check it online they will have to create a so there must be something that we need to do hmm that looks like it's going to be holding a phone so we most likely here is going to be our phone then we are going to be squeezing it like this and now here we can apply pressure and as you can see it's trying to tear, tear them apart absolutely beautiful yeah it is a good one so i'm not into phone repairs so i do not have experience but the idea on its own looks smart i would say this is a smart idea and here we've got some sort of tape that most likely when you've got like a broken screen then you can apply and it will create that even thing that is going to be making a good suction that's my idea but do not count on me because i'm not phone repair guy but we've got that stuff if and if i ever need to use it i've got it i do not need to wait and order it so yeah it is a, a good one i hope and let's see what we've got here and we've got like a, a repair manifest we hold those throughout to be self-evident if you can't fix it you don't own it yeah that's actually makes sense repair is better than recycling yes of course that's why i'm fixing and reusing vintage stuff and i'm finding a lot of joy in it yeah definitely take it apart that's how i learn yes it is saving a planet so yeah it is a uh, pretty good stuff if you are into it you can put it on wall i personally do not like it because that's 
like giving me a vibe of a communist Russia. So I don't like those type of like uh, aggressive posters. So I'm not going to be putting it anywhere. But let's go back and take a look at the last thing. This is, I believe, the absolutely last element. It is going to be magnetic project math. So when I'm going to be working, it is self-explaining. And here we've got a marker for it. So this is going to be absolutely beautiful element. And I've got feeling that I will be using it really often because it is such a great item. Yeah, it is a beefy one. I've got somewhere a tiny one from the AliExpress, but it didn't have a good like a adhesion. Yeah, this is what you would like to see. This is this is a good one. I was searching for the AliExpress one to give you a compare, but definitely I throw it out, but you would not be able to do anything like it. Here, it's nicely staying in place. And with this Sharpie, most likely what we can do, this is important to like a uh, read down the model because most likely it is here we've got like a eraser and we can put information like top case you put information like this and if you forget where the screw goes because sometimes they are longer shorter and it can be problematic then you know Absolutely beautiful. This is a great addition. So let's write a one more thing. Just like that. So like and subscribe. So as you were able to see, we managed to dig through all of those different items and I deeply believe they are going to be extremely helpful. A lot of similar things we can grab from like the AliExpress, but of course I sometimes need something right now, right here, and to have it everything in one package just was making a lot of sense. And here with a one purchase, I've got it all and I deeply believe that someone was thinking and making sure that this is what you need. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.